All right, so Edge of Seventeen, or uh, the Edge of Seventeen, is a new coming of age movie coming out November eighteenth. Um, so it's gonna be a while till it comes out, but I see it really early. I was happy to, uh, to do that. But yeah, so Edge of Seventeen is about a seventeen-year-old girl uh, who has kind of had a crappy life. She doesn't like her life very much. It's a pretty typical high school response, but I can't blame her. <laughs> but yeah. And essentially, yeah, she has this best friend that helps her get through all these tough times she's had when she was young, because uh, she didn't really ever fit in. But yeah, she, she meets her best friend, and they grow up together. And then later on, yeah, when she's 17, um, her sister, she finds out her sister is banging her, uh, her brother. And, oh, sorry, let me, let me rephrase this. <laughs> uh, Haley Steinfeld, the main character, um, her best friend is banging Haley Steinfeld's brother, her, so, just no necrophilia, no, uh, no incest or anything, don't worry about that, yeah, let me rephrase that, yeah, I gotta rephrase that perfectly, I hope, um, but yeah, yeah, she's screwing him, played by, uh, Blake Jenner, uh, from Everybody Wants Some, and, yeah, she's not happy about that, so, they kind of distance themselves for a while, I guess is the word, and it's essentially about her be coming of age. It's this coming coming of age story. It's her dealing with her problems and coping through situations. And that was a lot harder than I thought it would be to describe. Um, yeah, uh, I was excited for this movie. Uh, I thought it looked very good from the trailers. It, critics were like raving about it at Sundance or Sundance TIFF. I mean, um, yeah, it premiered TIFF. But yeah, I was pumped for this one. And it is a great coming of age story. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the year. It's definitely in my top ten of the year at the moment. I love this movie. It's such a relatable, real, genuine movie. Um, when I came out of it at first, like just for like a couple of minutes, I was thinking about it. I was like, that was good. And then I like, thought about it more in like the next five minutes after I walked out. And I was like, holy frick, that was great. Because uh, it's just so real, like, every time, I was comparing a lot of the things that happened to, like, real-life situations I've been in, and when you can do that, that's just the perfect way to, uh, express your, um, art, I guess, in a movie, to relate it to the audience, I thought that was brilliant, uh, the performances are fantastic, uh, Willie, Willie Harrelson gives a fantastic supporting, uh, performance, I'm, I just want to mention him quickly, Haley Steinfeld is great in this movie, she's a perfect lead, uh, she has great talent, and I'm excited to see where else she goes in the future. Perfect performances, or perfect performance, but great performance at least. One of the better ones I've seen from a female uh, this year. Yeah, she's great. Um, and Kira Sedgwick, I believe, uh, how you pronounce her name, uh, is great as her mom. She looks a little bit like Gina Davis, like in The Exorcist show. I don't know, but this is kind of what I thought of. Um, but yeah, she's very good in the movie too. Blake Jenner is also great, just to mention that. Um, yeah, so, great cast, great performances, great coming-of-age story. It is brilliantly paced. It has fantastic writing. Um, it's just overall around, or all around a great freaking movie. Um, and it's, this is a directorial debut. I, I don't remember the director's name. But you did a fantastic job. Uh, I know it's, it's, it's a female, so yeah. One of the better female-directed movies I've seen in a while, that I can think of, at least. Um, yeah, uh, freaking great movie. Uh, the only, like, maybe small problems I have is that, like, characters like Woody Harrelson don't, even though he's fantastic in the movie, uh, don't get much character development. There's not much depth there. Uh, not, like, little things like that. And it does hit some predictable story beats that you kind of see, um, see coming. But, I mean, it's, that's not, like, a huge problem. It's not how it ends. It's how you get to the end. It's the journey getting there. But, yeah, it's just a small nitpick. But, yeah, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I love this movie. It's one of my favorites of the year. Expected to be in my top ten of the year video, or at least in my honorable mentions. I don't know how many more great movies we'll see this year. But it's definitely in there. Um, so, yeah, that's my review of The Edge of Seventeen. So, peace.